what is your biggest fear? Well, got a little bit emotional there. My tragic love story. I don't know what to say. Yeah. So, my age. Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a Q&A. It's a video that you guys really wanted and requested. So, I thought it'd be pretty good to answer the questions. I posted on my Instagram story um, asking for questions and I'm going to read through most of the questions that you guys sent. So, if you haven't seen my latest video, it's my first ever vlog. I'll pop it somewhere on the screen. If you have watched it, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely more to come, but let's get straight into it. Q&A, let's go. Yeah. Okay, the first question is from Andrea. It says, hi, I'm Andrea. The question for your YouTube video is, have you ever been bullied at school or online? To answer that question, yeah. I've been harassed at school. It was in primary school and there was this like kid who just thought he was like, top shit and he would just bully everyone and yeah it wasn't the best feeling but it definitely I think allowed me to kind of how do I say this yeah and it was a very it was very good um not the bullying part but just being able to deal with it I thought it was pretty good second question is from Charlene she had a couple but I'm just gonna pick some one of the questions she asked was, what is your biggest fear? I think as someone who has been in a couple of relationships and have ended up on the bad side, I think my biggest fear is just like getting hurt again. Like, um, I don't know what to say. Um, my biggest fear is just essentially giving your heart out to someone and giving them your all and them just like breaking your heart. I think my biggest fear is falling in love with someone who doesn't like love you back. So like getting hurt. That's my biggest fear. Well, got a little bit emotional there. But yeah, thanks for the question, Charlene. Cool. This question is from Caitlin. Essentially, how did I start off my gym journey? So it started off by someone I liked calling me skinny. And from that moment forward, I never wanted to be called skinny ever again. And I wanted it sounds very toxic, but I wanted them to regret rejecting me because I was skinny. And I think it worked, so yeah. Yeah, never looked back, never been happier. So next question is from Bao. He says, hi, Dr. Lee, aka YouTuber Lee, aka Min Koi. My question is, could you please share your thoughts on medical school life? I mean, the upsides and downsides of your major and how balancing your work life and how you seem to manage it all. So Bao, uh, med school at the moment for me isn't too stressful um the course that i'm doing it's bachelor of clinical science slash doctor of medicine yeah at the moment it's quite manageable um i do keep myself pretty busy though i have uni social media i also have work outside of uni um which takes up a lot of my time and i try to stay active because i think that's really important for my health how i go balancing it is i kind of just set up my priorities and use my like calendar a lot and using like my timetable. I also have this notepad. It's like a to-do list and I always write down everything that I want to get done throughout the day so that I know, you know, if there's stuff that I didn't get done, that will get pushed to tomorrow. Kind of just like organizing my day. But that's how I kind of balance everything. I'll go a little bit more in depth in another video. Question from Alex. Hello, Peter. It's Alex, by the way. Congrats on the YouTube channel. Thank you so much, Alex. He asks, who's your style icon? What fashion trend do you think has to go? Oh, as much as you guys probably know, um, I like to show my ankles. Purely because when I wear like, uh, I guess like slim, slim jeans, it, it makes me look taller. And when I wear baggy stuff, although it looks nice, it just makes me look super like compressed. So yeah, I don't think that's the fashion trend I need to go. My style icon, um, I think maybe ASAP Rocky. I just really like his style. Uh, Devin Booker, sometimes like LeBron James as well. Yeah, there's just a few names there. And a fashion trend that you think has to go. like gold chains. Like, what is that? Like, thanks for the question. This question is from, oh, Nahid, Nahid. Oh, I keep getting your name wrong, I'm so sorry. What is your most embarrassing moment at school? So, there was this one time where I go to Saturday school. There was this really pretty girl that I, I had a massive crush on and she sat at the back of the class. Me being, I think I was like 12, I thought I was like, win this girl. So. I was planning to ask her out on a date or to be my girlfriend. I don't remember. 
But we had a test and during that test, my stomach just wasn't feeling the best. I just needed to fart. Yeah, very embarrassing. Because I've done this before, like farted before, <laughs> I knew it was going to be like a silent but deadly one. So like I knew even though it's like dead quiet, everything would be fine. But just to make sure what I planned to do was I had these books on my desk. So I planned to grab these books, drop them and fart at the same time. I thought that was a really good idea. And it was just precautionary because I knew it was going to be something about deadly. So what happens is I drop the books and because it's dead quiet, everyone in the class looks at me and then I farted. And it wasn't silent but deadly. It was just and really embarrassing. And I never got to ask out my crush at Saturday school. So that's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me. And it's my tragic love story. The one that got away, I guess. Yeah. Question from Banga. Is it true that exercise should be done on an empty stomach? Is it safe? Well, I'm here to tell you that if you exercise on an empty stomach, you will die. Next question. Um, <laughs> question from, I think, Michael. Rosales? I care. I don't know. Um, what are your plans after college? So after university, I plan to hopefully have like a couple of like businesses by then, to be honest. I wanted to get married by the age of, you know what? No, I'm not going to reveal that. But hopefully I get married after university and I become like a doctor, have my own practice and just have like a really successful career. Question from Cookie Queen. Um, hello, when is your birthday? And can you tell me your MBTI because it's new fashion? So my birthday is on the 21st of December. I'm not going to tell you the year. My MBTI is ENFJ, so protagonist. Next question. Question from Penistry. Since you're someone who is a content creator, is there an online pressure for you to upload your best content or do you just go with the flow and post whatever you feel like posting at that point in time? I think there's a little bit of both. Um, obviously, I want to create content that you guys enjoy, but obviously, I also want to create content that I'm happy with. And if I'm not happy with, I'm not going to upload it. So yeah, I think there's a little bit of both. This question is from Vanessa. When you're having a bad day or week, what do you usually do? So I think whenever I'm going through a bad week, I usually talk to like my support network. It's definitely my family, my sister, mum and dad, my close friends, and usually they provide a lot of support and encouragement. I also like to go to the gym. I think it's really good whenever you're having a bad day to kind of remove yourself from an environment where you're reminded of those bad things. So for example, if you're having a bad day because of uni and you study in your bedroom, I think it's good to just remove yourself from that environment that you're always studying in and kind of like do something different. So for me, I like to go to the gym. It distracts me and makes me feel better. I think writing down as well. Sometimes you just need someone to talk to, but when people are busy, um, you don't really want to keep everything inside because then it just kind of eats you up inside. So I find that writing down your thoughts and just getting it all out is, is very relieving. So that's something that I do. And have you ever given up on something you really want? I don't think so, no. No, I don't think I have. I don't think I have. This question is from QN. QN. Um, how do I stay productive? I think I used to be a person that was really lazy. I think when I look back on the person that I want to be, I want to be someone that's really successful and career driven. So that really motivates me to stay productive and just not be lazy, like get stuff done throughout the day. The other question is, what are your favorite K-pop groups currently? So we'll categorize this. So like my, my OG K-pop groups would be Big Bang, Icon, Winner, Blackpink, Girls' Generation, 2PM, Super Junior was pretty good, uh, GOT7, EXO, can't forget about EXO, BTS obviously, 21, I think those are like my favorite ones from like back then. Right now, um, I'd say, what's that band called? In Hyphen, I think that's the band, um, New Jeans. <laughs> Uh, obviously like Blackpink still like super relevant. Yeah, I think those are like the main ones that I'm into at the moment. But I did have like a massive K-pop phase that I'm kind of over. But I still listen to K-pop because music just slaps. This question is from Cindy. Happy to have you doing well. I want to ask, what's your plan in five years in the future? 
and what do you look for in a partner for life so financially in a very good position in five years and in five years by that time hopefully i'm a doctor as well so yeah by then hopefully i'm somewhat of an entrepreneur and a doctor and someone who's able to express themselves on social media as well i don't want to go too much in detail because i kind of want to just not talk about it but just show everyone what i'm doing yeah that's my plan in five years and what do you look for in a partner for life for me personally when i look for a significant other i look for attributes that my mom has and i think it like for the girl they look for attributes that their dad has so for my mom because i'm a mommy's boy she's always someone that's really caring and one of her love languages is always like making me food just acts of service so that's something that i look for in like a potential partner and a partner for life someone who's willing to make the sacrifices for you and for the greater good of the family and just be a wife uh, this question is from x real i don't know how to pronounce your name but wake up early to get your shit done or pull all-nighters i usually do both yeah i hate my life question from asia would you rather have a home on the beach or in the mountains on the beach 100 percent no question about it this question is from damien what is your gym workout i want to start going to the gym but i don't know where to start i'm also a very slim person so i want to ask for your help so damien and for anyone who's going to the gym definitely plan out like a routine so for guys it's usually like push pull legs i don't really work on my legs i think they're pretty big as they are my gym split is chest back chest shoulders back by shoulders arms so I usually hit each muscle group twice because that's the parts that I want to train the most. In terms of going to the gym, I think it's just getting started and you'll start to learn, you know, which exercises you like more. I think like important to focus on form and not lifting heavy. That's a mistake that I made. If you're training for aesthetics, train hypertrophy. Yeah, that's my answer to that. This question is from Sura, Sura, Sura. So, uh, um, what is your favorite gym exercise? Uh, it's the weighted dips. So I'm not sure if I have a video that I can insert here, but it's the one where you put a belt on, put the weight and you do dips. It just makes you, makes me feel huge. Makes me feel like great. <laughs> okay. This question is from Denise. How do you overcome struggles and what is your ideal type? How do I overcome struggles? I answered that before, but just taking time to like relax my mind. Um, what is my ideal type? My ideal type is someone who has like a little bit of an attitude, is career driven, is a little bit toxic. Like um, it's hard to explain, but like not toxic, like a little bit toxic like, where it's fun and someone who can cook. Yeah, I think that's my ideal type. This question is from Rebecca. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you doing Rebecca? Also, what is one thing that you really appreciate about yourself? I think the one thing that I appreciate about myself is my mentality. I think no matter what situation I'm put in, I always try to see like the positive out of it. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. This question is from Rumiza. Rumiza? Rumiza? Hi, Rumiza. What do you feel most passionate about? I think what I feel most passionate about is... It's making other people happy. Also, this is a photo that Rumiza drew. I'll put it up here. Thank you so much. This is like really good drawing. Yeah, that's sick. This question is from Nicole. Um, she's a fifth year undergrad student at the University of Toronto studying psychology. Wow, very smart. What hobbies do you have that you haven't told us? This is one of the questions she asked. Um, women. Um, but no, <laughs> another hobby is, oh, I really like basketball. I'm really into staying fit, so fitness, reading. I'm a hopeless romantic. Uh, I really like Netflix, especially The Office. That's like, that encapsulates my, encapsulates my humor quite well. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for the question, Nicole. And we do have the same birthday, by the way. Tricia, hi. What is your favorite book? My, so my favorite book at the moment is Atomic Habits, because that's the book that I've actually finished. Um, it's by James Clear. It's a very good book. If you're someone that's lazy and want to be someone who's more productive, that's definitely a book that I recommend reading, 100%. Yeah, it will change your life, I promise you. 
This question is from Claudia from Mexico. What in life do you feel most proud of? And I think it's getting into med school. I think getting into med school is like one of the biggest challenges any student will face. Um, and it's just a massive hurdle. And I think it's an, something that I'm really proud of, something that I worked really hard for and something that I'm, I'm super fortunate and grateful for. It's an opportunity that doesn't come very often. So yeah, something I'm really proud of. This question's from Leah. Is there anything that I'm unsatisfied or want to improve about myself? Honestly, everything. I just want to improve on everything. I think I'm at a stage in my life where there's so much potential for me. I want to improve on my physique. I want to improve on my intellect, my perspective on life, my ability to talk. Um, yeah, I just want to improve on everything. I think I'm a person that will never truly be satisfied with where they are. I'll be someone who always works. So yeah, I just want to improve on everything. This question is from Fidan. Fidan. Which profession would you choose besides a doctor? I think I would have become like a, an investment banker, like very corporate. If I didn't do that and knowing what I know now, I honestly would have wanted to pursue a career in like music. That is, that is something that I am really passionate about. Music is everything for me. Next question. This question is from Sheena. What is the best advice you've ever been given? So this advice was given, I think from my uncle and partly from my dad. And it goes, what people think of you is none of their business. But what you think about yourself is all of your business. That's a really good uh, advice. The other one is, you are the people you surround yourself with. And the last one, if you go into a game thinking you lose the game, you've already lost. This question is from Daira. How do you do so many things like studying, work, health, gym, mental health? When I was in high school, I took on a lot and I am someone who thrives when there's a lot of things to do. So for example, in high school, I was school captain. I was involved in music, um, tried to get really high grades. I was involved in youth group. Um, I also had a part-time job in high school, I played footy. Um, that was really good. And I did a, like a little bit of social media, but not to this extent. So I think naturally I'm just someone who likes to stay busy and likes to be really productive. And that's when I thrive. Everyone's different. So some people like to wind down and relax, but I'm someone who really wants to just make the most of every opportunity and the most of every day. This is from Savini. Um, which fictional character do you most identify yourself with? Spider-Man, Peter Parker. Honestly, someone I look up to. It's very weird, this fictional character. Anyways, moving on. Uh, this question is from Marcinisa. Mar Mars Marcinisa. No. I'm so sorry. Do you like cats? I do. This question is from Bobo. What is your favorite thing to do these days? Honestly, I think creating content has made me like pretty happy um, and just staying productive. This question is from Zafira. How do you control yourself when you get lazy for going to the gym? I just remind myself of why I wanted to go to the gym in the first place. And that usually gets me off my my lazy ass. This question from Grace, what advice would you give to help someone who feels like their life is over after failure or defeat? So Grace, um, I don't think there's truly any failures in life. I think there's just obstacles and lessons learned. If that's something that you're going through, then I think it's more so just about how you, how you view everything that happens. So obviously it goes down to having your glass half full or glass half empty perspective. Obviously dealing with failure or dealing with a hurdle is, is always very difficult, especially if you're dealing it by yourself. So see if there's any like coping mechanisms that work for you. For me, going to the gym helps, um, talking to friends helps, and sometimes just binging TV shows um, help as well. If this is something you're going through, I'm really sorry. I hope that everything is okay. And just know that I'm always supporting you. This question is from Lara. She asks, who inspires you the most? And for me, it's my mom. She's just the most hardworking person I know and someone that has sacrificed so much for me. I would not be the person I am today or in the position where I am today without the guidance and support and help of, of my mom. Obviously my dad as well, but yeah, I'm just a mommy's boy. So it'd definitely be my mom who inspires me the most every day. And 
reminds me to be the best version of myself. And this is by Jay Leah. Do you have a beat name? Yes, it's Ming Koi. So you know how my Instagram handle is at Peter MK Lee. MK stands for Ming Koi. So if you're wondering why is his username that, it's because it's my middle name. And I thought Peter Min Koi Lee would be too long. So Peter MK Lee. This question is from Nicholas. Um, how do you study well about distraction? I throw my phone away. I literally grab my phone and I put it in another room. The method to memorizing information, use flashcards and use active recall, super, super important. This question is from Tiffany. So what influenced or what inspired you to start a YouTube channel? I always wanted to be like a YouTuber. I thought it'd be really cool, like creating vlogs and posting them up on YouTube. So it's always been an aspiration of mine. So hi, Chloe. So Chloe wants to be an MD, but she's also really passionate about music. So wondering if you would ever give up one for the other. And I think medicine is a very big commitment, Chloe, but you can definitely do both. And I think it goes down to two things, where your heart lies and what you can see yourself doing long-term in the future. And that should help with your question. Um, personally, I think I should be able to do a little bit of both. I think medicine will take up a big chunk, but I will have time here and there to do content creation and music, for example. I think you just need to compromise or just pick one. This is from Anna, Anna Tram. Do you have road rage? Yes. So this question is from Josephine. She's basically asking, because I'm quite busy, how do I have time to spend out with friends and family? And what tips do I have? It's honestly about scheduling time in your timetable and like your calendar. For example, I knew that on Wednesday I would be have a pretty busy day. So I would make sure that I got everything done in that time span so that later afterwards I could spend time with family and friends. So if you're someone that wants to be really productive, I think it's all about scheduling time. And sometimes, as bad as it sounds, you need to schedule time. It got to the point where in the last year of my high school, that's what I did. So usually from like, I'd come back from school and then I'd schedule like an hour of family time. And I'd just be like talking to my parents or just being in their presence. And then afterwards I'd study. So I was very scheduled, but that's what I did. This question is from Haley. My go-to song to sing in the shower. Mine by Taylor Swift. Yeah, she just hits different. Another question by Haley: Are you an introvert or an extrovert? I think I'm an extrovert. I used to be definitely an introvert, but I think I'm an extrovert now. This is from Chloe. You should talk about F1 in your Q&A. I will. <laughs> What's your favorite driver, favorite track? If you go to any GP, which would you go to and how did you get into F1? So I went to F1. So for those of you who don't know, F1 is Formula 1. It's the pinnacle of motorsport racing. And my team that I support is Red Bull. I've been a Red Bull fan since Mark Webber was at Red Bull. My favorite driver at the moment is Max Verstappen. He drives for Red Bull. My favorite track would probably be Barcelona or the Australian GP, so Melbourne. And I have been to Melbourne a couple of times, so yeah. This question is from Honey. What is something that you love doing since you were a kid? Making food. I hope that like one day when I do have a significant other, I'm able to make them food. That's like my love language because that's how my mom showed me that she loved me. This question is from Danielle. Do you like Messi? That's Riz right there. Of course, I love Messi. This is from Aaron. Go to music genre is probably like R&B, soul. My 3AM playlist on Spotify, which I put in the description, is probably encapsulates like the music that I fuck with the most. This question's from Carly. How many times are you looking into the mirror? <laughs> um, that just gives me flashbacks of like Aiden, the, the whisper challenge. So I wake up in the morning, I look at myself in the mirror for five minutes straight. <laughs> I'm not gonna even lie, I, I do look at a little bit, but it's because I want to present myself in a good light. Also, good luck on your finals. You're gonna smash it. This is from Nye. How to be as daddy as you? No, this is like an actual question. I, I actually don't know how to answer that question. A question that a lot of you guys asked. So there's like heaps of questions. I got 229 questions, which is crazy. But a question that I'd say 70% of you guys asked was, what's my age? So I think because it's a Q and A, a really good opportunity for me to tell you guys what my age is. So my age. I am, I am. Anyway, 
Anyways, thank you so much for watching the Q&A, guys. There were so many questions, so I couldn't get through all of them. I'm so sorry if I missed any or there's any that I read incorrectly. I'm really, really sorry. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this Q&A. Obviously, there's opportunity for a second Q&A. Comment down below what other videos you'd like to see also. I'm thinking of doing a spicy, like a spicy ramen video and obviously another vlog. But yeah, open to ideas. Hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A and I will see you guys in the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. What are you looking at? <clears throat> mm. Okay. I'm dying. My voice is very